They're, they're in that room. How's it going, Vakiedos, and welcome back to the Shotgun Haven. Now, recently, the KV broadside did get nerfed, and a lot of people have been asking, what's the new best build? What's the way to run it? And honestly, a lot of the builds you guys have been running are probably going to do just fine still, even after the buff, especially if you've been using regular buckshot. But what I want to do today is instead go over what I think is something that is often overlooked, and that is slug rounds. And especially on the KV broadside, it kind of feels like we're revisiting the Origin 12 slugs back from Warzone 1, albeit these aren't quite as strong, but these are really good. So today's video is all about the KV broadside slugs and explosive slugs. So let's just go ahead and get into it. First, we'll talk about the damages and the ranges like we always do. And for that, I will be using sim.gg to show off these numbers. So as you can see, the numbers here are really good good and this is a lot of damage and you can do some major damage up close with these things slugs are always that way but out to about 5.8 meters if you hit two chest shots or one headshot with one other shot on the body you can two shot kill someone with this gun after that out to about 16 meters you can hit two consecutive headshots to get a two shot kill or if you only hit one headshot you'll need at least two more torso shots to get a three shot kill and past 16 meters or the second drop off really the second damage range drop off you really do not want to be caught using Using this this is where it's a little bit weaker than the origin because it doesn't carry damage quite as well as far but up in these first two ranges it's as good I promise now you don't deal much damage like I said and the drop off for damage is hard so this is going to be a gun you want to use to complement something longer range or maybe with an SMG and go full out CQB which I don't really recommend I usually use the TAC 56 with this but you basically just want to stick to a little past shotgun range with this gun and don't push the range do not try to snipe people with this thing it's not really going to work super well unlike the other slug shotguns this one just does not carry range and damage very well but it makes up for it by having a very crazy fire rate and being able to do super great damage up close but as with most slugs you gotta aim high and try to at least hit one headshot in most of your close quarters engagements that will make you pretty much unstoppable if you can do that which i know is hard but you gotta practice it and at least aim chest level within 15 meters you can do some major major damage if you manage to get a two shot kill with slugs your time to kill is gonna be about 280 milliseconds for the base gun and if you have the dash bolt attachment for a better fire rate it'll be absolutely mental and insane at about 240 milliseconds and this isn't dragon's breath the two shot is immediate so it's two shots no burn if you take three shots your respective time to kills are about 560 milliseconds and 481 milliseconds so it's either you get the two shot and your insane time to kill that's nearly twice as fast as some other guns or take three shots and take about as much time to kill someone as an smg it is a very high risk high reward type of weapon and those are almost always my favorite ones to use this is no exception absolutely and in most cases an smg will be better to use as of course with all shotguns as smg is just generally better besides how the broadside used to be but if you can manage to hit those shots with this thing you will be rewarded i promise you now that's just base slugs i didn't talk about explosive slugs yet but explosive slugs deal the same damage generally but just have better ranges but the issue with explosive slugs is of course bomb squad will negate the damage some thankfully in Warzone, most people you fight probably won't have it equipped, which is nice, but while it is better at ranges, I noticed it feels a lot more wonky than regular slugs do. The bullet velocity is slightly slower, and I feel like the bloom is a bit worse. I find myself getting weird misses more often than not with explosive rounds compared to regular slugs. Plus, sometimes you'll get a little bit of that splash damage, which makes you think you're hitting the target right, but really you're not. You're just kind of barely grazing them with some explosive damage. So ultimately, if you want to try explosive slugs, go for it. They're disgusting if you can hit your shot but they're a lot harder to do consistently than compared to normal slugs and I found that normal slugs are generally the best when it comes to reliability between the two. So when we take a look at my best class this is typically what I use. This is a close quarters monster you don't want to push range with this. No barrel because slugs already have decent range and since we're going to be in shotgun range already we don't really need a barrel. Yeah it'll help but it's just I think there's better ways to kit it out for this particular build like kitting it out for aim down sight speed. That's usually a good way to go. The Bryson choke is going to help with condensed the bloom as always people always ask me about that but yes it does help with the random spread or bloom that slugs have and you can use a suppressor but those are a little bit heavier and they don't help as much with the bloom they don't really help at all you get a better bullet velocity but I really find the choke to be the most useful now I use an optic personally because the iron sights on this gun are a little weird they're a little hard to aim with when you're trying to be super precise and there is a little bit of some muzzle flash and stuff that gets in the way so using an optic is totally the right way to go I use a red dot sight that's usually the way I go a clear sight picture is just always helpful of course the dash bolt 60 is a great attachment i think you should always try to run if you can but i know that that kind of hurts your recoil a little bit so just keep that in mind
mind that if it's a little too much, you are going to kind of sacrifice your time to kill, but you are going to be able to pace your shots a little bit better. But personally, I just say go with the dash bolt 60 and spam the hell at their head and their upper chest. That's usually the way I go, and it works really, really well up close. Like I said, recoil can be an, an issue if you kick this the wrong way. For example, if you're using something like the stockless attachment in the stock category, it's really not the best way to go in my opinion, because despite it giving you some awesome speed boosts, you really want to have good mobility, but not sacrifice your recoil too much, and this thing will Will kick like a mule if you put that stockless option on so i tend to avoid that and instead of using that go for something like the seven milliwatt laser because it has a better aim down sight speed bonus than compared to the other stocks even though you don't really get any like aiming walking speed i find you don't really need it as much just get your fast aim down sight speed and you're generally good to go like I said, you can swap out slugs for explosive slugs if you want. You're going to get a little bit more range. It's going to feel really good, but just know that I think that slugs is the way to go because they're a lot more consistent and reliable, and explosive slugs are a lot more niche, and honestly, they're a little bit more goofy, even though they are really strong. So I'd suggest going with regular slugs, but that's kind of up to you. If you do want to use a barrel to get a little bit more range, you can. Another good alternative for that is just using the range 12 barrel because it doesn't hurt your aim down side speed as much as the others like the Gunner and the ZLR Sport 8, even though those give you a lot more range. The range 12 is going to give you some extra range, but not hurt your mobility as much. But I do understand the need for more range. So if you want to do that, I go with the range 12, or you can use the gunner barrel since it doesn't hurt your aim down sight speed quite as much as the ZLR Sport 8. Overall, this gun is extremely fun to use. I have been enjoying the hell out of it. I just love slugs so much. Even though I'm terrible with slugs in a lot of ways, this one is the one where you can kind of get away with it a little bit more because it feels more like a marksman rifle, sort of like an EBR rather than a shotgun and people just don't expect it and you can just just annihilate people with these man if you're hitting a headshot at least one people go down so quick i mean it's just kind of asinine how fast you can drop people and people i really haven't caught on to and i don't think it will be necessarily meta in the grand scheme of things because this is ultimately a lot harder to use than a lot of other guns it doesn't really have that much ammo for how it kind of shoots yes it does have great damage and some pretty decent range for being a shotgun but it's slugs and of course there's a lot of trade-offs to using slugs like the bullet velocity is really crappy and all that but you're going to be a close is not as much of a problem but i do think this is a very high skill high reward type of weapon i think it does take a fair amount of skill to use because you have to hit your headshots pretty well otherwise you're going to get killed because it's going to take a while to kill someone but this is fun. This is a really fun way to break up the monotony of the game. And yes, it is incredibly useful. It feels just like the Origin 12 slugs did in Warzone 1, albeit maybe a little bit weaker at range. But I promise you guys, try this out and you will be surprised at how good it can be. And it's just so much fun. And that really is the key here is it's fun and it packs a damn good punch. So go ahead and try this out. Go ahead and try and kill all those sweat lords with their SMGs and their Vaznets. Just go ahead, try this put a couple of rounds in them and see how fun it can be. So with all that being said, guys, I want to know down below in the comments, what do you think about slugs on this gun in Warzone 2 in particular, since I haven't really talked about them multiplayer, what do you think about slugs in them? Do you prefer explosive slugs or do you prefer using a barrel as opposed to no barrel like I usually recommend for these kind of builds? And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next shotgun video. Good work. That's how you Bro, do it. Bro, fuck it.